Hello everyone, I'm Matthew, we're The Scoops. Wanted to talk a little bit about cooking and the direction that we're actually headed towards uh, right now. So for those of you who are new to our channel, uh, we currently live uh, in the city. Uh, we actually live in Arizona, we're around the uh, Phoenix area, uh, which is currently the fifth largest city in the nation. And Maricopa County is just massive. And our goal is to eventually acquire some property and move out uh, to a more rural area and build a farm from scratch. And it, we want to, of course, you know, begin uh, producing our own food and work towards, you know, self-sustainability. Which brings me kind of to the kitchen side. Now, for those of you who do follow our channel, uh, you may have noticed that I've been spending a lot more time in the kitchen and I've been providing a lot more um, cooking videos. The reason for that is I'm wanting to expand my ability uh, in the kitchen, uh, which of course, you know, uh, accounts for all the cookbooks over here, which I'll get more into that here in just a moment. But as far as the cooking goes, that uh, ties very well into the self-sustainability side when it comes to producing your own food. Obviously, you've got your harvest, um, you've got, of course, your preservation, which could be your canning, freezing, dehydrating, but ultimately, all of that food has to end up on your plate. You have to eat it. That's the whole point, is eating it. So what good is producing all of that food if you don't know what to do with it after the preservation side? or even when it comes to eating fresh from the garden. Not only that, expanding your ability in the kitchen uh, helps with, okay, so I can cook this dish. But if I have some extra knowledge in the kitchen, maybe I can take this dish and make it something I really enjoy. Uh, and that just makes the harvest that much better. Also, I believe that you can kind of reverse engineer that a bit too. So as you begin cooking more and more and more, um, you'll start finding out what types of vegetables, for example, you will use more. A uh, perfect example of that is tomatoes. Um, in our household, um, I, of course, I love tomatoes. Uh, sliced, diced, stewed, sauces, you name it, I, I like tomatoes. But the primary use that we actually have in our household is tomato sauce. Of every other form of tomato out there, tomato sauce gets used the most. I mean, by and large, the most. Sliced tomatoes is something that we do use, but comparatively, it is very minuscule compared to sauce. So this upcoming spring, when we begin planting our uh, next session of tomatoes. My primary focus is going to be on tomatoes that are good for making sauces out of. I still plan on having some cherry tomatoes. I still plan on having at least one type of slicer that I'm going to grow, but the majority of my focus is going to be sauce. That being said, while I do want to continue experimenting with different types of vegetables, uh, maybe even different varieties of specific vegetables. My main focus is going to be on things that we will actually use. Now, obviously YouTube is a great place for picking up new recipes and seeing how things are done. Um, but I also still like the traditional use of books as well. And that's where this comes in. Now, most of these, all of these, I think, actually, uh, we actually picked up at a thrift shop, uh, Goodwill, specifically. I think that is an amazing source for books. They have tons of them. Uh, they run sales all the time. Most of these books cost me around like a buck a piece or so. Here's the downside to all of these. I haven't been using them. I think I've opened up two of these books uh, like once each. Um, one was, uh, I was looking for a cookie recipe and I, to be honest, couldn't even tell you what the other one was for. 
They've been just collecting dust. Well, that's going to stop. I bought these, so I'm going to use them. I mean, I've got some stuff. I've got some generic cookbooks here, you know, like the Better Homes and Garden Cookbook. I've got the Double Day Cookbook. But then I have, like, this slow cooker. Uh, there's one here for grilling. Uh, I've actually got one that's just casseroles. And so uh, I've got sauces and salads. So what I'm going to do is the recipes that I've been doing lately, it's all stuff that I already know how to cook. Some of this stuff I've been doing for years and years. And to be honest, couldn't even tell you where I originally got the uh, recipe. And most of the time I end up changing a bit. For example, I use rosemary, basil, and thyme a lot in my spices. Uh, even on some things that don't call for it. I just, I really like it. So I'm gonna continue, of course, going through uh, stuff that I know how to cook, which is a lot of times a little more basic type of cooking. But I'm also going to start diving into these cookbooks. And I think what I'm actually gonna start doing is I'll start going through them and uh, see if I can't get an idea for a dish that I think might actually be appealing to me. And we'll try it. Uh, obviously, I'll, we'll try it together here on the channel. And if it turns out to be a dish that I really do enjoy, of course, I can add that to my repertoire, if you will. Um, and I'll make sure to also, of course, uh, uh, let you know what book I've taken this recipe out of. That way, if you're looking for that recipe, or maybe you want to look up that book specifically, um, I'll make sure to notate it. And I'll see if I can't find some uh, uh, links that I'll start leaving in the descriptions below as well. So yeah, that, that's kind of where we're at with that. I uh, just wanted to kind of update real quick on why we're doing these cooking videos. It, it's for expanding my knowledge and hopefully sharing that with you expands your knowledge as well. So if you haven't done so already, I'd like to invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give us a, a thumbs up. That really helps this channel out a whole lot. We really appreciate it, we really do. And not only that, it allows you to be notified when we upload new stuff. So that way, when I do a new cooking video or if I do a update video for the garden outside, you'll know. Otherwise, thank you and we'll see you on the next one.